If you have ever used NAN, Google Opal, and OpenAI Agent Builder, you know how facial automation works. You drag, drop, and connect logic until things work. And recently, I keep getting this same question. Hey Andy, what's the real difference between Google Opal, NAN, and OpenAI's new Agent Builder? So on the surface, they look alike, official or node-based, but under the hood, something big has changed. Google Opal gives you Google's AI ecosystem, and then gives you flexibility and extensibility. But OpenAI's Agent Builder introduces native reasoning. Many steps in the flow can think, adapt, and make decisions on their own. So it's no longer just executing instructions. It's understanding them, and that shift is what's redefining automation. So today, we are going to break down how OpenAI's Agent Builder reimagines workflows and compare it side by side with Google Opal and NAN. All right, now you might still be wondering, hey Andy, you have already done tutorials on Google Opal and NAN. So how is OpenAI's new Agent Builder actually different? That's a great question. And to answer it, let's line them up side by side and see where each one really stands out. So first, Facial Workflow Builder. All three, Google Opal, NAN, and OpenAI Agent Builder use facial node. So you drag, drop, and connect logic. So they look similar at first glance, but what happens under the hood is completely different. Second, no code friendliness. Google Opal is facial and low code. It's perfect for non-technical users, but still flexible for developers. And then it's also official and no code, but leans more toward technical teams who want control. As for OpenAI Agent Builder, it takes a similar approach, official on the service, but low code underneath, giving builders access to SDKs and JSON when needed. Next, AI reasoning integration. This is where they really diverge. Google Opal calls Google AI models via prompts inside the visual flow. So Opal chains, prompts, model calls, and tools. And NAN adds reasoning through its AI agent nodes, which uses LLMs and tool calling via external APIs. Therefore, OpenAI Agent Builder runs reasoning natively on OpenAI's backend. Step in the canvas can invoke OpenAI models to plan, choose tools, and act. Next, built-in evaluation. Google Opal's testing is manual, NNN offers basic run and debug tools, and OpenAI Agent Builder adds automated evals, which test your agent's reasoning quality and suggest improvements in real time. Next, let's talk about safety and guardrails. Google Opal relies on Google account sharing and Gemini's model safety defaults. As for NNN, it leaves safety and permissions to the user. But OpenAI's Agent Builder includes built-in guardrails with PII masking and jailbreak detection. For PII, it stands for Personal Identifiable Information. So your agents can actually stay compliant and secure. Next, let's talk about Custom Output UI. Google Opal provides a basic app interface. And the end can output HTML or JSON for your own dashboards. And for OpenAI's Agent Builder, it goes further. Using ChatKit and its widget builder, you can generate interactive cards, tables, or summaries directly in inside the chat interface. Next, integration ecosystem. Google Opal connects deeply to Google API, like Workspace, Gemini, and Firebase. And for NAN, it offers over a thousand integrations and MCP, the Modal Context Protocol, covering REST, GraphQL, and webhooks. And for OpenAI's Agent Builder, an Agent Builder's ecosystem is still growing, powered by Agent Kit's connector registry and the MCP, which lets GPT securely access and act on real tools and data. Next, let's talk about deployment. So Google Opal is fully Google hosted. You sign in and share apps across Google accounts. And for NN, it can be self-hosted or cloud-based as well, depending on your setup. And for OpenAI Agent Builder, it runs entirely on OpenAI's infrastructure. And with ChatKit, 
you can embed your agent into your own site or product instantly. No separate hosting needed. Next, documentation and usability. Google Opal is built for non-technical creators. NAN is builder friendly, but best for technical teams. As for OpenAI's agent builder, it's in beta and evolving fast. So check it is already generally available. Next, let's talk about target user. For Google Opal, it focuses on non-technical creators. For NAN, it caters to small businesses and technical teams that want automation flexibility. And for OpenAI Agent Builder, it targets developers and AI founders, while its facial interface lowers the barrier so even non-technical users can actually design intelligent agents. Last but not least, strategic focus. So Google Opal is part of Google's Gemini ecosystem, bridging AI and app creation. And for NAN, it remains centered on task automation and workflow flexibility. And for OpenAI Agent Builder, it aims to become OpenAI's reasoning and governance layer, connecting intelligence, safety, and evaluation in one single platform. Okay, so now you have seen how Google's Opal, NAN, and OpenAI's Agent Builder each bring something unique to the table. So Google Opal for its tight integration with Google's ecosystem, and NAN for a matched flexibility and self-hosting freedom, and then for OpenAI's Agent Builder for native reasoning and built-in safety. But here's a key question. When should you actually use each? So if you are already deep in the Google workspace, like managing Google Docs, Google Sheets, or Gemini apps, then Google Opal is your best fit. It's the easiest way to turn prompts into lightweight internal tools without touching code. But if you want full control or customization, like connecting APIs, running local automations, or deploying your own stack, then NAN wins. It's the go-to platform for technical teams as small businesses who want scalability on their own term. And if your goal is to build intelligent agents that can reason, adapt, and safely interact with real data, or inside a facial flow, then OpenAI's Agent Builder is the future-proof choice. Because the big shift is not just about automating steps anymore. It's about creating systems that can think, evaluate, and improve on their own. And the people learning that skill now will be miles ahead as AI native tools become the new standard. So if you want to go deeper and build these agents together with a group of professional founders and builders, join the Andy NoCo Premium community. We provide in-depth tutorials and one-on-one -on -one tech support to help you implement it faster. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and check out our next video. I'll see you in our next one.